And what an exciting day! Today we have the honor to test the brand new KDM 990 Duke. Today is already an international launch of the Sniper. This is how KTM is calling the new bike. And you probably saw already an official video, but today you're gonna see a review video from our side. So we got a pre-production model once again, and they said you can do rock whatever you wanna do with it. And we took it to a nice place, the Salzburg ring, where we have a lot of place to play around. And we're gonna dive into all the technical information, all the features it offers. And then of course, we're gonna do some proper rock on riding test, which means drifts, wheelies, burnouts, uh, stoppies, cra uh, okay, crashing not, I don't wanna crash this brand new baby. And yeah, let's start. If we look at the KTM naked bike lineup, they have now a 790 Duke and a Super Duke, so a big gap between, but not anymore now. They made this 990 Duke, so they close it down. And in general, look at the bike, man. It looks so futuristic, just those sharp edges. We didn't see before this kind of visual on a naked bike from KTM. And just look at this front light here. We all know when KTM designs bike, they need to be ready to race sharp, aggressive race style. And uh, nothing different when they designed the front light. Oh, it's already giving me a show light. So they have this new position lights, daylights, that gives you already an animation when you start the bike. And this is the low beam light and high beam light. Uh, they also added this little detail here that gives the whole light a bit more premium look. And yeah, it's made out of glass fiber plastic. Uh, so it means it's lighter than the previous model. And yeah, I have a feeling that this bike will turn into a robot in few minutes and fly away. For me, that light is like out of a Transformer movie. But it's not only a big change on the front side, but also on the back side. Yeah, that's a nice ass with way shorter tail tidy than we know from other Dukes. But why is that? Interesting fact, there is no stoplight, that's why it can be shorter, but where is the stoplight? It's integrated into the turn signal lights, and this technology we know for a few years now from the other aftermarket brands, but now it comes as stock. Just to clarify first, to avoid the battles in the comment section below, no, that's not an upgraded engine from the 890 Duke, it's a completely new development. It has 947 cc, 123 horsepower and the biggest torque number in its class. If we compare it to the Kawasaki Z900, MT09, Street Triple R or the Ducati Monster. Man, in the recent years we were witnessing some big and bulky, ugly exhaust, but it's hard to point fingers because the environmental restrictions are getting tougher and tougher, so the manufacturers need to dig deep to develop something new, and KTM did that version. It's a smaller end can with beautiful design details, and it's also Euro 5 Plus compliant. Look at this beautiful 5-inch TFT display, and with nice upgraded graphics and it has also pictograms that showcase in which ride mode you are and if we are already talking about ride modes you can choose from rain, street, sport, performance and track mode and the track mode unlocks a lot of adjustability such as the slip adjusters we can see here and then throttle response, track, street, sport then anti-wheelie modes we can now choose different levels man I'm losing my job with that one. <laughs> and launch control, this is also a cool feature. ABS mode from supermoto to road. Uh, MTC, traction control, quick shifter on off. So a lot of adjustability. And with the track mode, you have a better overview of the RPM, the speed, the slip adjustment. So all the important information that you need to have on a racetrack. 
beside all the ride modes and riding assistance it comes also with a cool lap timer feature and for the first 1500 kilometers the bike comes with a full tag pack and later on you can do a rational choice which features you would like to keep and which ones not we know that KTM loves to weld tubes when we talk about frames. Nothing different here on that bike. And also the engine itself is the stressed element of the frame setup. And the subframe is aluminum and also powder coated. Moving from the frame to the swing arm, which has now a new gravity die cast technology. It lost the signature look a bit, but now it's easier to clean. It's one kilogram lighter and it's mounted from the inside, not from the outside, like on the 890 Duke. It has the same pivot point, and all that results into better riding experience and faster out of the corner. The bike sticks to the road with the help of WP Apex suspension, adjustable on the front with the compression and rebound. And on the rear, we have a WP Apex monoshock, also adjustable on rebound and preload. Let's talk brakes. For me, as a stunt rider, that's an important feature. It has a new redesigned 500 grams lighter disc brake and four piston brake caliper. So that means you can be faster or pull some really nice long stoppies. And on the rear, it has a 240 mil disc brake with two piston caliper. You can see I have Avens here, but the bike comes also with great tires, the Bridgestone S22s. And now few quick facts, chrome details for more premium feel. Bigger buttons for easier navigation. This beautiful carbon fiber exhaust holder you can choose from the KTM Power Parts catalog. Beautifully designed radiator cover. Seat height is also great for shorter people, 825 mil. We got here 14.8 liters fuel capacity and 4.7 liters per 100 kilometers fuel consumption. 179 kg ready to ride weight. As you can clearly see the 990 is packed with technology but now comes the fun part. We're gonna try it out. So let's start the engine, enjoy the sound and enjoy the tricks. This bike puts a big smile on my face, man, it's perfect. I feel right away at home and yeah, one thing that sticks out is definitely the engine. The 120 plus horsepower pulls through the gears amazing, it accelerates amazing. How I felt the difference if I compare it for example to the 790 Duke, it wants to accelerate constantly and spin the tire and then you feel the power of the engine and it's i'm already thinking to build a stunt bike out of it uh, and next year we're gonna because it's winter the season is over in europe and yeah we're gonna try to do a racetrack session to see how it performs also there and yeah i hope you had a good overview of what this bike is all about and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one until then rock on